Hello, everyone. As you folks know, tomorrow President Obama will be in Honolulu uh, to assist him in uh, getting to his various uh, engagements. The Honolulu Police Department is going to uh, uh, institute and uh, initiate road closures. Road closures will begin as early as 4 p.m. in the eastbound direction between Aia and Manoa. Roads in the westbound direction between Manoa and downtown and northbound between downtown and the windward side will be closed as early as 5 p.m. Drivers are advised to expect significant delays. Good afternoon, Mark Garrity, uh, Acting Director for the City Department of Transportation Services. Uh, as the Chief just mentioned, there's going to be significant uh, impacts to, to traffic tomorrow afternoon related to the President coming. We appreciate everybody's uh, kokua and, and patience. If it's at all possible, we encourage people to avoid uh, the area between the airport and UH Manoa. Uh, especially in the late afternoon. If you have the flexibility to leave work early uh, or to simply um, avoid being there in the late afternoon, we would really encourage that. So that's again tomorrow afternoon um, from about 4 to 6 p.m. or so. Um, and that is uh, something that we're continuing to monitor. We're working closely with HPD. Uh, what DTS is going to do is we're going to have all of our traffic cameras uh, turned on and being monitored. We're going to make adjustments to signal timing on our major arterials uh, to try to ease the traffic flow, but we do expect major impacts to traffic. Uh, so we uh, want to apologize in advance and, and appreciate people's uh, uh, patience. We're also sending out uh, Nixle alerts, so if you haven't signed up for that, uh, go to DEM's website. You can sign up to receive uh, Nixle alerts that will give you updated information about traffic impacts. Hi, good, good afternoon. Uh, as the uh, two previous uh, individuals have already indicated, we'll be monitoring uh, for the period of about 4 to 6 o'clock and coordinating and making sure that the appropriate public messaging with regard to uh, traffic conditions are uh, clearly put out in a timely manner. Um, we'll have staff here as well as uh, at the JTMC, the Joint uh, Management Traffic Center, coordinating all the public messaging and making sure that uh, the public knows uh, the up-to-date information. That's all I have. Due to the traffic congestion, we anticipate that the city is being proactive in allowing employees to flex their work hours tomorrow. They can come to work as early as 6 a.m., so they may leave early. They may take vacation or comp time off credits so they can leave the office earlier to uh, avoid the traffic. That's all I have. I yeah, basically the lane closures would be the major thoroughfares and surface streets leading from the airport area up to Manoa. The specific route, I won't be able to share that with you. Yes, ma'am. And then westbound after the president has uh, had the opportunity to meet with the letters, uh, the leaders from the Pacific Islands uh, Conference of Leaders, he'll be heading uh, westbound first toward the downtown area and head northbound uh, toward the winter side. But you folks should be clear after <coughs> 6 o'clock? No, the westbound will be closed at that point, a total closure so on the roadway. So, so roughly, how bad is it going to be if it's that bad? It's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty bad. Spelled out what that means. <coughs> uh, basically, when the traffic bleeds out, because what's going to happen when in the initial movement at about 4, 4.30, uh, traffic will be uh, stopped uh, on the west side of the on-ramp leading to uh, his route from the freeway. So he'll get on, at that point, from the airport, get on the roadway and begin. But the traffic, a complete closure of the roadways. Nothing will travel on the roadway while the president's moving. So can we just explain that we're going to close eastbound first and then westbound yes. a little later? In well, the as, I, I, as I mentioned, first at four, about 4 p.m., we're going to close eastbound lanes that's uh, heading from the airport up to the Manoa area. And at about 6 p.m., we're going to close westbound lanes heading toward the downtown area. Then the president will head northbound from the downtown area over to the windward side. So if you're a westbound traveler, expect to, to not leave till what, after 7? I would say even s later than that. Probably 7, 7.30, just to be sure. 
but all these things are dependent on the president's schedule, so his plane comes late. That could e exactly. I mean, the chi it, it's just an approximation, you know, depending on what the, when the uh, president arrives and when he gets to uh, his motorcade and gets into his car and starts moving. It'll be a progressive uh, opening, but that uh, will be somewhere down the line once he starts moving, and that determination will be made by the uh, commanding officer that's in charge of the motorcade, along with the Secret Service, when they open it up. Our commander, in conjunction with the Secret Service, will make that de decision when to open up. And once again, it, it'll be progressive. As the uh, motorcade moves and leaves the location, uh, at some point they'll open it up and allow the uh, president's mo uh, the traffic to move. But that's not until the president is well clear of that area. And the westbound closure is he's going over to the windward side, it's going downtown. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. So what's going to happen? He's actually I'm seeing the downtown. He's actually going to turn and make head uh, toward the windward side. Was on the on the next day on Thursday, uh, September first. Uh, there's two locations that we're working from. Initially, we'll start from the convention center, where we'll be busing in uh, attendees and the media from the convention center over to NBC. That'll start at about six in the morning. Uh, we have a small closure, uh, the lane nearest the convention center from Atkinson up to Kapilani, down Kalakau, will be closed to enable us to facilitate the m movement of the buses. Uh, when they begin their route, they'll travel in the uh, Alamoana area. When they get to the uh, NBC or the Blaisdell Center, we'll actually have closures along Kapilani Boulevard. Uh, the Malcobon lanes of Ward Avenue will be closed, and one lane, the lane nearest the Neo Blaisdell Center's campus, will be closed. Once again, that's to allow us to facilitate the movement of the buses that will actually be uh, running a continuous circuit to pick up attendees at the convention center and bring them to the NBC. And after the convention, uh, after the opening ceremony, that ro route will be reversed. They'll go from the Baysdale Center back to the convention center. 